Mix 106 Movie Reviews with our very own Mix 106 Movie Critic, Willie Waffle. A couple movies out for you uh, this week. One, of course, that everybody has been talking about for the last six months because it is the worst movie trailer in the history of YouTube. Ghostbusters. And we also have Brian Cranston starring in the movie about uh, taking down Pablo Escobar. A true story called The Infiltrator. Who are you going to call? I'm hoping we're going to call the Ghostbusters. Well, the original ones, yeah, that would be great. Oh, no. (laughs) I had such high hopes that they were going to be brilliant about the trailer and release all the crappy stuff, and then you were going to go to the movie and go, oh, my God, this is ten times better than the trailer. No, not even close. I, I mean, listen, it's better than the trailer. It's better than maybe you had worried about. But, you know, it's a movie that is truly divided along gender lines. Women love it. Men hate it. Women love the girl power. Men want it to be funny. And it turns out we're talking a whole, a whole lot about a movie that's just kind of average. It should be forgotten. Really? So it's not funny. Even with all that talent, they, they well, can't do it funny. It's kind of funny. You know, the, this, the weird part about Ghostbusters is that your supporting characters are so much better than your leads. Really? So Chris, yes. Kristen Wiig, I'm sorry. She, I think she's let this whole I'm a comic genius thing go to her head because she is horrible in this movie. She is like a step behind everybody else. She just isn't very funny. She just always seems to be wrong emotionally, just very flat and uninvolved. It's just it's a horrible performance. And then you got Melissa McCarthy, who I, you know, I feel bad for her. I think she's a really funny lady, but she just kind of gets lost in this movie. It seems like everybody else is being funny, and then like you know, she's kind of trying to hold it together as maybe being the straight guy, or in this case, the straight gal. The people you want to see are Leslie Jones, Kate McKinnon, and Chris Hemsworth. You know, McKinnon, great, is kind of the mad comic genius who's in charge of inventing all their weapons. Hilarious. She's so good. I felt like maybe she was supposed to be in another movie, just wandered into this one by accident. <laughs> I you know, love her on Saturday Night Live. I think she's one of the best players they've had on there, you know, in probably yeah. the last half decade. Absolutely fantastic and wonderful. And Leslie Jones is right up there with her, another I, Saturday Night Live alum. I like and, you know, her, too. Yeah, and she's playing Leslie Jones, and that's good enough for me. Okay, that's funny. That's exciting. And she, you know, she finds her moments to make her more than just the screaming, yelling woman, and I enjoy that. And I think the movie itself, they're trying so hard to kind of Harken back to the first one. We've got all the original stars showing up in this movie in little cameo parts. You know, we've got familiar ghosts. We've got the familiar car, the firehouse, all those things that you remember from the first Ghostbusters. They're trying to incorporate here, you know, to be respectful, but also to, you know, kind of uh, exploit our our nostalgia. Now, how about the, uh, there's a whole bunch of cameos from some of the originals, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, Bill Murray's in here. Dan Aykroyd's in here. Dan Aykroyd, for my money, gets the best lie to the entire movie. <laughs> and, you know, it, and it's fun to see them, and I think that probably helps keep, a, keep us interested in the film. I think it kind of keeps it together a little bit. And then you sit through the credits, and there's one scene at the end, and you realize, oh, dear God, they're going to do a sequel. <laughs> oh. So I've been reading that some people are saying that um, – that guys aren't liking it because they're so in love with the original and the, the, the all-male cast, and that women are loving it because of the all-female cast. Are you seeing that? And Do you think that a lot of the women are going to love it more? Well, I think that's what we're seeing right now. I mean, every review I've read, you know, you can tell if they're a man or a woman. Uh, you right. know, like every one of them. So I, I feel like, you know, everybody's taking sides. It's like, this is my team. I'm going to support my team. <laughs> so what do you give it? I'm going to say two waffles. Well, that's not bad, I guess. Not too bad. All right. Not uh, the worst. Our second movie, based on a true story, and I think the trailer for this looks fantastic, uh, The Infiltrator. Yeah, and this is a true story set in the mid-1980s. you got Brian Cranston playing this uh, customs agent in Florida who wants to take down Pablo Escobar and his cocaine ring, and he realizes you don't do it by taking the drugs, because they're going to get more of those. <laughs> you do it by taking their money. And so he starts to you know, be this player among all the guys who control the money, and we start to worry, is he going to be caught? And in, in, that, you know, in that sense, it's a very traditional kind of you know, undercover cop movie. But he is so good at showing us you know, the fear and the danger and, and, and every, every moment where it looks like he's going to be caught and it's going to be the last, ooh, pardon me, the last moment. 
But also, we get to see him being bigger than life, being this tough guy, money guy, trying to lure in the, the Escobar people, having to, you know, form these relationships with them. And so Cranston is doing so much, you just love watching him doing it. Even if the story's a little cliche, even if there's a couple characters that just don't fit in, but I'm going to say three waffles. I think he's a winner. Wow. All right. What do we have next week? Next week's a big, big, no, not next week. The week after that's the big week, right? Well, next week, I thought next week's a pretty big week because it's Star Trek Beyond. That's right. Okay, I thought Star Trek was a week after. So Star Trek. No. Star Trek and, is and next also week. another Ice Age movie. Why I don't know. <laughs> because they make a bazillion I dollars like every movies. time they release one. It scares me. All right. Have a good weekend. All right, you two guys.